So are we in an age of what some have called post-fact politics? I would say without a shadow of a doubt that there is such a thing as uh, post-fact, post-truth politics in existence in 2016. My definition of it, because it's a loose area in terms of study, my definition of it would simply be uh, the use of barefaced lies and manipulation of the facts at either end of that sort of moral spectrum, if you like. There is a view that the real problem is we've forgotten how to have respectful, grown-up political arguments. I think there has been an infantilization. That is to say that we've, mature, we've gone from as well, the maturity of serious and lengthy reflection down to the idea of immediate emotional response. Uh, and I call that infantilization because we're behaving less like adults and more like children. So basically, I think we need to grow up. I think we need to recognize these are difficult matters. We need to think long and hard about them. We have to recognize that other people have good intent as, as well and not denigrate them or not, as it were, push aside their arguments by just mis by representing them as simply demons or, on the other side, uh, angels. But some say there's no such thing as post-fact politics. It's just sour grapes from the losing side. To be honest, I think this is really lazy thinking. It's like saying that people don't accept your point of view or that, that people are a bit silly or they're stupid in some way and they just go for emotional responses while some other side has the truth and the facts. And it seems to me what is really at stake here is, is not that at all. What's happening is that if people can't get their argument across, it's either because they're not addressing the real fears, the real issues, that are in the, the mind of the other side, or they're just very bad at expressing it and the other side of, are, are very good at putting their figures out or they're very quick. Perhaps one defining moment of the European referendum debates came from Michael Gove on Sky. I think the people in this country have had enough of experts with uh, organisations experts. from acronyms the people of this saying... people have had saying, enough of experts. Ha, with, with, from organisations with acronyms saying that they know what is best and getting people, it consistently wrong. What he's saying there is that um, I will give you a simple truth to a set of complex problems. And that appeals to many people. The problem comes when there's genuinely a complex problem uh, to be solved. And in the area of politics, you don't get much more complex and sophisticated than that. The problem comes when you've got a politician who says to you, no, I can deliver actually a very simple solution to this. Don't worry about it. What, you're actually, what he's saying is, don't think. Donald J. Trump. A straight talker who tells it as it is. That's exactly what his supporters see him as. Opponents, of course, say he's the ultimate post-fact politician, if there is such a thing.